Okay, so we've got our templates in position. Our plywood core is back in place. Okay, back inside the boat today, and today we're going to be concentrating on getting these pieces of ply core back in. So we need to come in and template these. So we've got that area there and that area here. So this was all our rotten damaged core. So what we'll be doing is using the uh, plastic, sort of a translucent plastic, corrugated plastic this that we use for templating. And we can basically put a torch on it and it backlights it, and then it gives us the outline which we draw with a marker pen. So we get those templated, and then also we're gonna come in and sand all of our previous balsa core. So this jointing paste that we've got in here, we're just gonna sand that and tidy that up so that looks nice and neat. And we've just got a little piece to put in here. So we'll get that cut and put into place. Yep, so we'll get all of that done. And then if we get time, we're hoping to also get some glass laminate underneath here as well. So let's get straight to work. Okay, so we have our plastic templates made now. So we just came in, backlit it with the torch, uh, and then just drew a line around the edge with the marker pen, and then just kept trimming it and trimming it until we got a nice fit all the way around. And we have deliberately left a little bit of a gap down here so that we've got uh, effectively a dam or a barrier between the balsa core and the ply core. Uh, that's what the factory did and they did the same here as well but you can see these sort of dams that they, they built in so we'll keep those and then we've got this one cut here as well and we've also marked where our holes go for the bolts that hold the a pillars in place so what we'll do now is we'll get these cut out of the plywood so we'll get these down in the workshop this one is 12 millimeters i believe and this one is nine millimeters <laughs>
Okay, so we've got our templates in position. In fact, we've used the A-pillar bolts just to hold those in place. And then what we will do is we'll come in and we'll use these props just to prop them as well, just to put them under pressure. We'll be using polyester bonding paste to bond those up as before, but they fit really nicely. And we've got a nice little gap around the outside, which will act as a barrier for us. And we'll fill that with uh, some glass and some thickened polyester as well. So that's turned out nice. And in fact, we've also left a little gap around the edge of the box as well. So you see here, we've got a, deliberately left a gap around here so that we've got some isolation between the bolt and the core. So hopefully we don't get this water damage again if water ever does come in, but it shouldn't do the way we can put this A pillar back together, but just belt and braces, just make sure don't get that issue again and what we're going to do now is we have got a windscreen wiper hole just up here um, above this board and the hole has actually been drilled in the wrong place we don't know whether the factory did that or whether it was done after the, after the fact uh, but what we need to do is we'll cut, we've just dished it out quickly with the sander and what we need to do is just come in and fill that with some glass and build that up again and then we'll do a gel coat repair on the outside at a later date and then we'll put the windscreen wiper motor in the proper position. So we've cut our little patches, little repair patches. So we've got six in total, starting with the smallest one and then we'll work our way up and we'll just mix some resin up and we'll get that hole repaired. Ready to go in with our first piece of replacement core. We've got our hole drilled here for the uh, bolt through to the A pillar, and then we've drilled two additional holes, which will be, be where the screen screws come through for the side screen. So that's basically left a hole where the screws will land, and then what we'll do is fill those with epoxy again, just protecting this piece of core from any further damage. And Richard is just going to come in and mix up some of the free fix.
Our plywood core is back in place. So that's really nice to see some nice dry core in there. And we've just come in and filled all the gaps with the um, polyester fixing bonding paste. So we just need to leave that now just to set up overnight. We've got the props in here just because there's a bit of contour to the hole. So that's just holding the ply in place. Same here as well. And then we've tightened these bolts up as well. So again, that's just holding everything in place overnight. So yeah, we're going to leave that set up and Richard had come in and done all the sanding on here. Probably a little bit more to do on that, but looking a lot better now. So we'll be able to come in with the glass and glass over this. And then we've also put our two holes in where the screws come down that hold the side screen in place. So we'll be able to epoxy fill those, backfill them, and then the screws will be going into epoxy. So again, that's isolating it from our core. And we've come in and just drilled some holes here, here, there's one in the corner there as well, just up there, same deal. So that's where the screws come down from the side screen and we'll be back filling those with epoxy. Alrighty guys, back at the boat this morning. Uh, last time we came in and fitted our new ply core. So that's all now set up and that is bonded to the underside of the deck. So what we need to do is just take these uh, bolts back out and then we're just gonna come in and just sand all these edges just to make sure we've got rid of all the sharp bits. Just nib all this off with the sander. And we're also gonna do the same on the balsa core as well that we put in. So again, just sort of sand all these edges where it's gone a bit brown with the resin and also just make sure this is nice and flat. And then what we'll be doing is coming in with two layers of chop strand mat on top of this. So we'll come in with the first layer uh, probably about halfway, about 10 mil, and then we'll come in with a second layer, which will probably be about 20 to 25 millimeters, about an inch overlap onto the original laminate. And this has already been graded with the grinder. And uh, we've got the original templates as well that we used to form these bits of balsa core. So we can use those, cut the chop strand and get those into place. But first of all, let's get this sanding done. Okay, so we're back down in the workshop and Richard has just measured. This is the original laminate that we removed um, when we removed the damaged core. And this is around two millimeters two in, mil. on average. Yeah. So what we need to do is replicate that. So we're gonna be using two layers of 450 gram chops around mat. And we've got the templates here that we use to cut our new balsa core templates or panels, should I say. So these are templates that we used. So what we'll do is we'll cut the chop strand out of these and we'll just make them on the first layer will be 12 mil bigger all the way around. Yeah. And then the second layer will be 25 millimeters. So about an inch, which will give us that 12 to one ratio of laminate onto um, new laminate onto old laminate.
Okay, so we took our plastic templates that we use with the uh, Corex um, before to cut our ply and balsa. And now we've cut uh, two pieces for each of those. So one's just slightly bigger than the other. So we can laminate the two layers. And then we've just got everything in our buckets here, ready to go. So activator, rollers, brushes, gloves, and all that good stuff. So we'll get that onto the boat and get the laminating done. Okay guys, that is our new plywood and balsa core fully laminated, so we need to leave that to set up now. So that's gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one.